Hey guys, this is Josh with the Update Channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about Carl, which is a 1962 needle nose Kenworth, but it's electric drive and has a 3306 cat diesel generator to power the electric drive. It's amazing. So what happened is someone reached out to me, a friend of mine who were remain anonymous and said, hey, look up Edison Motors. I did, and I said, wow, this is pretty cool. Can I do a Reacts video to your truck? And they said, yeah, sure you can. So what I did is I compiled some of their videos together and try to find out as much information on them as I can. So let's get into it. So what we're looking at here is a little parade that they had, and that first truck that drove by was Carl. Now, what you might notice is they're silent. You can hear some engine noise in the background, but that's not from these first two trucks. These are actually moving, and they're not just being towed, obviously, by electric drive. So they're silent. Now, they do have generators, but the generators don't always have to run. They have batteries. And you can see they're logging trucks. Now, the third one here, you can hear an engine running, so I'm not sure if it is still engine direct power or if it's a diesel generator. Here is the truck. Uh, this was a little while ago, but you can see it has a 3306 in it, and their emblem's pretty cool. So here's the walk around. Here's what mostly we're going to talk about. And it's named Carl, which makes me think of this. It is a new era! Not sure why they named him Carl, but the box right here. So this is the plug to charge it in. To... So what he was talking about there is it has electric charging cables. So if you're at a Tesla charging station or your house and it's got utility power, you can plug in and charge the batteries. You don't have to run the generator all the time. There's just my wall charger there I brought down with me, but you plug it into the outside plug right there. And that's so what you're saying, here's the, the wall. here are the battery banks and I wish he opened them and I could see what was in there. That's very interesting. He's got these uh, kind of weatherproof cargo things in there and that's where the batteries are. Right here are the battery nice banks. Headache rack. There's the headache rack. It's a logging truck, it's gotta have a headache rack. I like the color scheme, the dark blue and the black's pretty awesome. So it has a fuel tank, diesel fuel tank, because it still has a diesel engine. Onto the steer tires, we got 425s, full steel fenders. Uh, this truck in 1962 is called a needle nose because it's so skinny. Now what he's talking about, look at the width of the grill there it's tiny you would have a hard time if you had a big engine in there to cool it down because it has such a small cross section for the radiator how about we open the hood here and i can show you the motor now notice that he said motor that's going to drive some people crazy some people say it's an engine technically the definition of a motor is a machine especially when powered by electricity or internal combustion to produce motion so an engine is a motor, technically. So one thing I wanna point out here is this is definitely a 3306, but it's also a generator 3306. You can notice by this armature here, if it was a throttle pedal control, that is where the throttle linkage would hook up, but this is a handle, which means it only goes to idle and high idle, which would generally be 1800 RPM. We got the cat diesel motor, it's a 3306. The weird part is there's no fan belts. Because it's running as a generator in the electric truck, we don't need a single fan belt on the motor. Less parts to break. It's got electric rad fans. The water pump and fuel pump are both mechanical, so the alternator just charges off the main batteries. Now, I believe he misspoke there when he said the alternator charges off the main batteries. It doesn't have an alternator. Most generators do have a battery charging alternator. His does not. You don't need one since he's converting the dc voltage down we'll talk about that later but this is a picture of a 3306 generator with an alternator his does his does not have one we have a dc to dc that takes the high voltage from those big battery banks there feeds it into the bad 24 volt batteries inside this box here is the control unit and batteries for the truck that's a 24 for the generator that's the 12 that's for the truck controls and inside here is the computer controls that's the dc to dc that converts the high voltage into the 12 and 24 volt. So what he's talking about there is the drive motor on this machine is a Tesla one, which we'll see in a second, but the voltage those drive at is much higher than battery voltage. So they're gonna be running about 350 to 410 volts, give or take. 
So obviously you can't charge your batteries with that much voltage because your batteries are either at 24 or 12. The generator control side is probably 24 volt, as he was mentioning, and the 12 volts probably for his motor controls. So they have a step down unit that drops the voltage to those. This is the wiring harness for the whole truck. So an electric truck, it's just these 10 wires that control everything to do with it. Now this part doesn't make any sense to me. I believe he's referring to the 10 wires are for just the control side. There's no way the whole truck only has 10 wires. I mean, just the lights and the turn signals and the brake lights are gonna have more than 10 wires. And also on the truck, there's gonna be something called a voltage regulator, which is gonna control the AC voltage control uh, produced by the generator end. This is what a voltage regulator looks like. And they're gonna have more than 10 wires by themselves. So I believe the 10 wires he's talking about is specifically for the the motor controller, there's definitely not just 10 wires on this truck. You can see how simple that wiring harness is compared to a new truck's wiring harness. Have a look back here. This is the drive motor. This is out of a Tesla Model S, but remember this is just a temporary motor until we get the electric axles in the spring. Okay, so I went back to this picture because this silver motor is the Tesla drive motor he's talking about. Notice it has a drive shaft going to it. so. That drives the differentials, and he also said he has a four-speed auxiliary, so he's got four different speeds he can move that drive shaft in on top of the motor. Now, if you look further back, you can see the back end. That's the back of the generator itself. It's definitely a cat generator, and if you look real close, you can see the diode packs that are required to produce the voltage in the AC generator. From the Tesla motor, it goes to that four-speed auxiliary where it goes to these normal differentials, which are 46,000 pound rear ends with a 4.3 ratio. And there you go. That is the walk around around Carl. Now here's from a live stream they recently did and they were moving the truck. They didn't start the generator though, but you can see it has normal brake valves for both the truck and if it had a trailer on it. Right in front of the steering wheel, there's a touchscreen controller for the drive motor and most of the electronics. But on the right, something I'm very familiar with, that's called an EMCP2 panel, and that's a Caterpillar part on their kind of older generators. And what that would do is it would show you all the AC voltage on the different phases, the hertz, the amps, all that stuff. That is a cat-specific part that I'm sure they bought the generator as a set, and they used all the controls for it. Super interesting truck here. I'm really glad I was allowed to do a reacts video on it. If you guys are interested in all, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, go check out Edison Motors on YouTube. I believe they also have a TikTok and probably a Facebook, all sorts of stuff. Very interesting. Thanks for watching the video.